Good morning. It is the day that I am taking a flight from El Nido to Boho. I got my bangs cut last night and when I got a pedicure. It's so early in the morning right now and the electricity is off so I'm sitting outside and enjoying the view. It's the morning that I'm taking a flight from El Nido to Boho and I'm pretty sad. This place is really epic. Everywhere I've been has been really nice but the view of where I'm staying at at this Airbnb climbing up these stairs to get this nice view is so amazing. Um, things that I've encountered staying at this Airbnb a lot of bugs but that's too expected you're up in the jungle. Uh, electricity goes off and on. There's a chunk of time during the day where the electricity is off so at some point um, during the night the electricity went off so the fan shut down and the electricity is still off and it's a quarter after 6 to 6 15 a.m. so just things to be aware of a lot of bugs here and electricity going off at certain parts of the day and I don't mind bathing in cool water because this place is so hot um, I have all of my things packed here I have to take down the stairs slow and easy along with my backpack so these are the two things that I'm gonna have to take down but it's been nice and relaxing I haven't spent a lot of time at the guest house um, unless it's in the morning before the tour and at night when I'm back from touring and dinner and massage but I still think it's worth it to be able to wake up to this view every morning in from the open water to El Nido you can see my bungalow all the way up in the jungle which is pretty cool um, but I finally put on a little bit of makeup since I'm not going to be in the water today so the last couple of days I've been in the water every day snorkeling so I haven't been putting on any makeup just some BB cream to start off the day and um, yeah I'm really sad to leave this place this is probably the most relaxing place I've stayed at this whole trip just because it's far up from everything and I have my own space which is really nice and nobody up here but me so I'm kind of like in a little tucked away piece of paradise here in the jungle here is the current view of what I'm enjoying one last time before I walk down the stairs with my backpack and my duffel bag it's so beautiful but just to sit here and just listen to the sounds of the jungle it just is really relaxing. I love the feeling of being in nature. And the sun has slowly started to rise, so I'm gonna make my way. Also, down. I noticed from all of the places I stayed at, El Nido is the most expensive when it comes to eating. There are a lot of places here in town that you can spend double the amount of money you'll be spending in other cities, which was the case with me for the first night here I spent double the amount of money I was spending on food just on that one day alone and I think I just had like lunch and dinner not even breakfast um, other than that doing the tours and eating lunch out there on the boat really cut down the cost because you're paying anywhere from 20 something dollars for the day tour plus including your lunch so that's definitely a deal but it's been nice and I really really love this bungalow. I'll show you one more time what this place looks like. So in here is my bed. So that's the emergency light that comes on when the electricity goes off. My bathroom down there and this beautiful wrap around balcony with the stairs coming up here. Paradise. So filled and surrounded by green so definitely gives me a Hawaii vibe one last look of the bungalow oh my goodness I had such a nice time here it was so relaxing probably the most relaxing spot for my whole trip in the Philippines was right here look at how cute this place is I have my backpack and my duffel bag and I am going to slowly attempt to walk down these stairs it is so crazy so wish me luck i'm gonna take my time and giving myself half an hour to walk down these nice and slow i'm scared oh my goodness i slipped once and caught myself slowly but surely 
I made it with my big bag to the main road. So now I'm gonna just hang out here and see who and picks me up. When is it gonna happen? But I have some time. It is uh, 6 36 and I want to be at the airport around 7 which is still considered early because it's just one counter and one terminal but I'm just gonna wait here for a tricycle Alright, there's one place to eat at at El Nido Airport called the Cafe they actually have a really nice machine here to make hot drinks, so I'm kind of interested. This is going to be the first time I order a hot drink here in the Philippines. So Air Swift in El Nido Airport didn't like me hand carrying the drone, so they made me put it back into my luggage, which is fine. Some airlines like me to hand carry it, some like me to put it in my luggage. I'm fine either way. It's easier if I send it through with my luggage because it's one less thing for me to actually carry and walk into the plane with. So I put it back in there and so now I just have my backpack. I was sitting here by the AC unit because it is so hot. Um, but I'm waiting for the flight. Hopefully it won't be delayed. Airport is very small. There's just one terminal and maybe like two places to eat. It's smaller than my hometown airport. Um, but I'm happy I'm checked in. I'm eating like some big chocolate chip cookie and I scarfed down drank my latte so fast like so hot but look at this this can't be healthy so, I'll stop of course the silver case made it like what is that in the case I think this is gonna be like one of the last trips I take this drone I'm gonna get a whole new drone where the case is like incognito because the silver case is like what is that what are you carrying in there so now I know carrying a silver case in the airport kind of looks suspicious but as long as uh, they don't lose my bag I'm happy that they take it with my luggage so we'll see when this plane leaves right now it's not raining so hopefully there won't be no delays because today is my only day that I have in Boho Good morning everyone, welcome to my bag. This is flight 236 for the Bourbon Four Dr. Lana. We need to go all our guests to the Upper half flight. They can't wait to see Bourbon, Chocolate Hill, Your Monkey. It is two nights. Last two nights here in the Philippines. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. I'm going to go to no rain thanks air swift that was a very quick flight on time let's see how the humidity is find our restroom bigger airport All right so now i'm waiting for my bag there's like one terminal here and they also have push carts here waiting for you so you don't have to pay for it i swear i think only in the states you're paying for a push cart so that's nice I don't have to lug around my big duffel bag on my shoulder at this airport um, but very easy to get to this airport I suggest flying into Boho if you can and then taking a ferry back to Cebu at the end of your trip I kind of like it that way 
um, I was able to avoid all of the ferries except for tomorrow will be my one ferry where I take it from Boho back to Cebu City. So let's see what I can find. I would love to find some art piece to take back to add to my collection at home. But look at me. I got so brown and elm. Okay, here's my bag. Ugh. Let's see where my ride's at. Oh, kind of sunburned. All right, let's go. Got all my things here. Oh, it's so nice and I have to carry it on my shoulder. Let's see if my ride's waiting out here. Okay. All right, thank you very much. Okay. All right. Right. No. Yeah. Hi. Okay. Yay! Hi. Okay. Let's go. How many? Just me. Yes. Made it. Yay! Once again, we are calling the attention of our sidekick guest to Mr. Christopher Rogers. Mr. Bye, Momo Airport. Hanbamar in airport. How did you make it? <laughs> what from, what from what country? Hawaii. Hawaii. Yep. Yeah. That's a nice place. Yes. But 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 Bohol is a nice place also. Yes. <laughs> That's why I'm here. <laughs> Okay! Yay! I made it, Corella. Oh, you made it? <laughs> oh, <laughs> quiet zone. Head long? <laughs> what, what country? Hawaii. Hawaii, ah. Oh, nearby country. So your descendant is a Filipino? No. A little. Because 6% Filipino. Because uh, there are many... Filipinos uh, in Hawaii. Uh, including my uncle is there. In, <laughs> in Hawaii? Hawaii yeah. yeah. We have yeah, a lot of Filipinos. They were working at Dole. Oh, okay. Dole Plantation. Mm. Pineapple. Oh, that's just long ago. I don't know where they are. Oh, my cousin's there. <laughs> but yes, there's a lot of Filipinos in Hawaii. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I've never been in Hawaii. <laughs> uh, it looks like the Philippines. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tropical. Mm -hmm. Tropical yeah. islands. Very nice. So... You've been here for your 6% Filipino yes. <laughs> <laughs> But everywhere I go in the Philippines, they speak Tagalog to me. Yeah, so how about I don't you? understand. You don't understand? No. Mm. And first time come to Philippines and first time eat Filipino food. Mm -hmm. Okay. So welcome here in Tashia. Pay your ticket here. Oh, yes. Okay. So they have a small little hut. 60 pesos per person. All right. Oh, is this binka? What is this? No, that is uh, cassava. Huh? Cassava. What no, is cassava that? Cassava is a root root crop. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Root root crop. Root crop. I don't know. Yeah. What? What is it? Sweet. Cassava. Yeah, cassava. Uh, this is sweet because of the molasses. Oh. Sometimes it's called cassava. How do you spell that? Uh, spell uh, C E C E uh, B as in bind. Uh, oh yeah, cassava. Uh, <laughs> double S. Uh, C E double S E. Cassava? Yeah. Yes. Never heard. Mm. I guess I'll have to try one. Yes. Uh, hmm. This is uh, good in digestion because it's more fiber. Okay. Okay. I made it. I feel good. I'm here, Corella. Okay. So. Ticket, please. Huh? I want to buy one. Oh, oh. sure. Uh, one ticket? Yes. Mm, only and one. then... 60? Yes. Mm. How much for one of these? 60. Ah, uh, 10, sorry. 10? Okay. Try it. 
All right, I'm gonna try it now. One. Yes. Also. If I like it, I'll buy more. I don't know. <laughs> My first time, guys. Yes. She, she came from Hawaii oh, or near strong. country. Oh, okay. Chewy. Mm. Okay. Guam is your nearest country. Guam and Saipan. Below. Below. Yes. Yeah. You're very good. A lot of people I met in the Philippines don't know where Hawaii is. <laughs> You're the first one. Okay. So 60. Well, oh my gosh. She's giving me all these. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six. This is your seven, remembrance eight, here. Nine, ten. <laughs> Souvenir. Souvenir. Okay. Salamat po. Welcome. How about the taste? You like it? It's um. I think I would like it with tea. With oh, with tea, yeah. Right? Yes. Okay, I should eat this here on the vlog. <laughs> what is your name? Where are you from? Uh, I live uh, near here, at the uh, town of Sikatuna. Is My name, name is Jerry. Jerry? <laughs> yes, I'm a uh, driver and tour guide. Oh, okay. Mm. He's yes. the only Filipino that knows where Hawaii is. First one. What? <laughs> yeah. You didn't know? No. Every every Filipino I met just say oh, Hawaii. I said, Do you know where that is? You're like, no. Mm, Hawaii. There are mini pineapples there. Yes, papaya, papaya. mango, and, coconut. Uh, organic coffee. I didn't. I think yeah. there are mini there. You're smart. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not All smart. Right. You're smart. Okay. There you go, there, man. You have a oh, there's no, no everything there. Okay, I wait here. Okay. All right. There's an order to this, so you pay 60 pesos at this little hut, and then they're gonna make you sit here. So it's 10, 10 pesos for this A little snack here. Oh, oh, okay. We're gonna have a little briefing, a little, please don't do this, please don't do that. Okay, all right. That was so cool. So I decided to see the Tarsier monkeys and Corella. There was five of them. That was so cute. Oh my goodness. I just took pictures with my cell phone because my camera makes a beeping noise and you have to be really quiet. Well, that was really good. 60 pesos and I tried that chewy thing for 10 pesos. And um, ready to roll to the next, the next destination. Made it to the Lobok female. So, lots of souvenirs here. But what am I looking for? What time does this lunch start? Who do I go to? I'm trying to figure out where to pay for this lunch. All right. Excuse me? 
Jen, muna kayo mag. You have to sit there. Oh, sit there. Yeah, yeah. Eleven thirty boarding. Eleven thirty. Time check. Oh, it's just me. Okay, for me, nasari de yung sa carb. Okay. Huh? Who? What? Just go there. Just go there to buy. Okay. Okay. Nine number. Nine number. Uh, All right, trying to figure out what we're doing here, but I don't know if there's multiple cruises or not, but very interested to see what's going down here. How tourist is this? Hi. Okay, where do you want me to go? Trying to figure out where do you want me. Okay, step one, get the ticket. Step two, show the ticket. Step three, pay six fifty. It's so humid here. My face is melting off me. Okay, one moment. Am I late? On time? Oh, boarding now. All right. Hold on a moment. Two, four, six. It's okay. All right. Ticket. Change. All right. So where do I wait now? All right. Okay. Going through the process here. Thank you. All right. Got the ticket. Now we just wait. Okay. Taking the ticket. That was short lived. Just hold the ticket for two seconds. <laughs> Okay, where you want me next? Uh, I to gate number two. Oh. oh, gate number two. Okay, so here's the All right, so there's multiple boats here. I don't know how they end up choosing what boat that you should be on. But I made it here. Yay! Okay, hopefully I don't get bit by my skittles because I forgot to put my off. It's in the suitcase. So I'm waiting at number two here. So 650 pesos gets you a lunch on the Lobok River, which is something that you should do while you're here in Boho. So here I am. Let's see what kind of food they have. I made it. Hi. Oh, officially on the boat. Very um. Very strict here. So let's see multiple things going on here. I'm going to show you what they have here for the buffet. So rice, noodles, vegetables, some chicken. It's like some kind of pork, watermelon. So this is what I ended up getting. Chicken and shrimp, and avoiding pork. So let's see what the food tastes like. First thing I'm gonna do today is this river cruise. I think it's like the first buffet thing I've ever done in the Philippines or eating in like a tourist environment. But let's see, let's check it out. I feel like motion sickness from the caffeine that I had in El Nido Airport. Oh my goodness. Let's sanitize the hands here. I'm gonna be eating with my hands. Alright. They only sell sodas here. What the hell? Traveler's tip bring your own napkin because the napkins here are a joke. Chicken is good. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's get it. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's convert it. 
All right, so right under $13, you can come for the cruise, have lunch on the river. And I don't know how often it's going, but I got here right before 11.30 and I was able to get right onto the boat without a queue. So that's really good. I would hate to have to come here and wait in a long queue and it's humid here. But it's sunny. I'm not complaining about that. I'm glad it's not raining. Yesterday's episode in El Nido was pretty crazy. Hmm? haven't even left the dock yet. I think the order of how I'm doing the day is great. As soon as you get here, see the charziers. And then from there, do the cruise. And then everything else after that. I think it's the best way how to do it. Of all of this food that I need to finish, let's see if I have room for some dessert after. So here's what they have. I'm not sure what this is. Looks like some kind of glass jello. Maybe their variation of bread pudding and then maybe some other custard. Finally made it to the Lobok River Cruise. This is like so touristy. It's a all-you-can-eat buffet lunch on a boat. And um, I didn't have to wait at all. So. 650 pesos. You can come here on Lobok River and have lunch and enjoy some some karaoke. <laughs> I need to sing a song before I leave. have done in the Philippines is the Lobok River lunch cruise um, it was cool I got to see the river that was the main thing lunch included but definitely something uh, very touristy today's my only day in Boho and I wanted to see the Lobok River so I decided to do the cruise it was cool to see the river see what's life like in Boho let's see what's next but it is so made it to Sevilla twin hanging bridge very touristy but if you're in boho you gotta do it so here i go but i'm not scared because there's wires throughout the whole bridge hi how are you okay here i go ow okay. this can't Oh. Oh. Definitely wear shoes coming on here. Yay. Now to go back the other way.
Euphorbia. Look at how pretty. Wow. Yay. Plant life. Love it. The buzz, ice cream of Boho Bee Farm. Last beach of my time here in the Philippines. Low tide. Salamat Boho! I'm happy my guest house set up my private driver for the day. The roads in Boho got me car sick. But my goal was to see the Tarsiers and they didn't disappoint. They were so cute in person. The Lobok River Cruise was probably the most touristy thing I did during my time in the Philippines, but it was nice to see the river. Stay tuned to see the next episode. I hop on a moped to spend the night exploring Alona Beach where I randomly meet Hawaii people who invited me to have dinner with them. How cool is that? Next up, Alona Beach.